So what we've done so far is I put rods and screws on one side and I final tighten. We pulled that rod and that screw construct has pulled that bone back about halfway. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it on the other side and it's gonna pull it back the remainder of the way to make it flush with the other bones so that the curve is there, but it's not translated or shifted forward. So the first image you're gonna look at is what happened when we first started. You can see that before we put any bone graft in the front and any bone, any bone screws in the back, that the bone is actually shifted forward. So, somebody point to that. So if you look at the back of the bone right there, that bone, is shifted forward compared to the back of the bone below it. Okay, so so you see the back of the bone below. Put your put the arrow on the back of that bone, the S1 bone. So the back of that bone, right there, and the back of the bone above it, don't line up. So now what you see on the image on the left is with part of the the screws together, the back of the bone is a lot more close to the back of the bone below it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to tighten that screw and we're going to try to get to what we call reduce or to realign, to replace in the right position the spine. Floral. Okay. Stop for a second. 